President Rodrigo Duterte appoints Josdado Peralta as the new Chief Justice on Wednesday, October 23. Peralta will serve as Chief Justice until his retirement on March 27, 2022. This means Duterte would have the power to appoint Peralta's successor, who will serve beyond the president's term. During the Judicial and Bar Council interview of potential candidates on October 2, a teary-eyed Peralta said he deserved to be Chief Justice. Sometimes sentimental ako eh. I'm sentimental, no? If I remember what I have experienced since I started working here, almost, I hear up eh. <laughs> And I think, I think it is, I think I deserve to be hit justice because I worked all these years. I worked very hard all these years. I'm not a top notch yet. I'm not an honor student. But I, I think I was able to compensate. He is the most senior justice on the bench after senior associate justice Antonio Carpio, who will retire on October 26. Peralta edged out associate justices Estela Perlas Bernabe and Andres Reyes Jr. for the chief justice post. A native of Lawag, Ilocos Norte, he was Sandigan Bayan presiding justice in 2009 when then-President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo appointed him to the high court. During his stint at the Sandigan Bayan, Peralta penned the ruling that allowed Marcos Crony Danding Kuwanko Jr. to retain his 20% share in San Miguel Corporation instead of awarding it to the farmers. In the SC, Peralta's most controversial ponencia to date is the hero's burial of the late dictator Ferdinand Marcos. Peralta wrote the decision that allowed plea bargaining in small-time drug cases and the equally controversial People vs. Romy Lim decision that set a precedent in dismissing weak drug cases. Peralta never voted against President Duterte in cases that directly impacted his administration, like martial law in Mindanao and the co-warranto ouster of Maria Lourdes Sereno. Mm -hmm.